Hey fellas, I'm back. Uh, Brian's been here this evening uh, working on a couple new tools that we got. Uh, we ordered the uh, the Tourmach engraver. Uh, he's been here and set it up on the uh, tool height gauge there. Uh, we're going to throw the Heimer in and show you this pretty cool little tool. Uh, he's going to touch off on the Heimer and uh, we'll show you how the engraver works real quick. I'll get on this side of you, buddy. No problem. Job screen. See? Here's the engraver tool right here. And he set it up on the Z height. Uh, on the height gauge there. And uh, he's going to run the uh, Heimer in there. Touch off on a random point because it's it only needs like a one by two box to to do its thing. Get the Heimer up there and get it zeroed out. Hey, we're pretty close to zero this time. Um, he's going to zero the X, the Y, and the Z. Okay. So here's the logo the, of the uh, motorcycle stuff that we're working on. We're going to try to develop our own parts and stuff here later. Um, you've probably seen some of the other bikes we've built in some of the videos and pictures that we've put, put up. So, All right, we'll pull the Heimer out, we'll put the engraver in, and uh, we'll get to see to run this together. I haven't seen it. He's ran it, but I haven't got to see it yet. So... All right, we're getting pretty close. All right, F2. So we're gonna F2. We've got uh, everything. The program's loaded there. We're gonna. We got the also on this we don't want the engraver spinning so we just throwed it in the back gear on the on the mill there in low so we uh can get it to uh stay still we're going to do a control s and it's going to take off and start on line zero and we're going to load ah hold on we're going to have to change the tool number yeah we are which stinks MDI. It's already, and as long as we start from that line. Tool six, was it? Yes. Let's go look. Let's look real quick. We're going to go to our tool screen. And we got the engraver. He had it set up earlier in tool in line 14. And we're noticing that it, it may be just random, but anytime we skip a spot in the tool list, it seems to be giving us issues, but we're not 100% sure of that. Uh, so we're gonna put it in tool six. We're gonna do an MDI command of change the tool. Six, M, six. Tool okay, six. so we're gonna load the engraver, which is already done. We're gonna escape out of that, and we're gonna do a control S. And start from line wherever past the tool change is. Uh, let's just try to. Oh. Um, should be like line six or seven, I think, but right? All right, let's see. Nope, yep, so you must be right. Oop. MDI. And we're gonna go back and change the tool, which is T six for tool six m6 is tool change we're going to load the engraver and then we're going to do a controlled start from let's see each line is a five Ooh. so be one two three four five let's try line six and see what happens okay hmm well Eleven. 
10? 10, yeah, let's, let's try it. Let's try line 10. Sorry about this, we're uh, we're still new on which line number and stuff it is. So one. Can you just edit the code? Yeah, I done that earlier. Uh -huh. It took me 15 minutes to get to the top of it because there's oh. a crap ton of lines. Okay. And you can't use the page up button to edit the code, to go through and page up through the code. Oh. So that was something I was gonna suggest to Hind Technology as well. There's a faster way up through the loaded G code to yeah, edit it. To edit it, just for quick stuff, because I had to take the spindle speed out as well. Fusion wouldn't post without a spindle speed, so I had to go in and take a spindle speed out after I posted the G code. Okay. So that's all good stuff there. So we're gonna do uh, another T6, which M6 is to change the tool. So we're gonna load the engraver and we're gonna try what line? I guess line 10. Let's, all right. Line 10, we're gonna try that. See you now. Hmm. <clears throat> so, the only thing I'm wondering it's control down. Let's go M or Tool Six M Six, and then Enter Enter Escape and Control R to restart it. Because when you restart it, I think it doesn't go back through all this stuff. When I restart one, it never asks me to do the tool change again. Okay. It, so I'm wondering if I restart. We're gonna do a Control R then, and it wants to change the tool. So. So I'll have to edit that code all right well i guess we'll go through that first when you hit okay make sure and hit escape all right you want to go all the way through the code yep okay be the quickest way <laughs> hey we're at the top wow no we're not oh, oh. that's what it, that's what it done her okay so we're at the very bottom of the code and you can see there's 3285 and they go by fives and there's no way to get a hold of the little arrow yeah. on the right. Page up. Doesn't Paged work. up doesn't work. Oh wait. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Sorry maybe, about that. Maybe it's delayed. A little misinformation there. Give us just a couple minutes. It'd be easier than trying to blend these videos together. <clears throat> we'll go up here and edit the file real quick to. His, tool 6 instead of tool 14 can you hold it down it going faster mm -hmm. looks like the same speed but it keeps me from tapping actually it looks like it's jumping bigger all right well it won't be but just a second here uh. So we got to get the line number uh, N30 is where we need to be and we're going to edit that code. Sorry about that. I'm still trying to get used to this gimbal and I'm not very good at it yet. So we're going to do tool 6 and then we're going to tab down and save that. File is saved. So and it doesn't change here till we reload it, I don't think. Let me tab over and exit. Oh, maybe it does. It All right, we're gonna reload the code. And there you can see that N30 is now T6 M06. So that we're gonna do a tool six now. Um, real quick, Brian, go to the, um, the wizard screen real quick. There was a fellow there that was having issue finding his wizards. So in this screen, what you do is tab down to your highlight, like number one is a highlight is real bright blue. Um, I think I do a new one, don't you? Yeah, maybe it's control N. Control. Maybe it's not. I don't know, it might be messed up where we're in the middle of doing the other stuff. Um, hmm. Anyway, when we get done, we'll come back to that real quick. Um, we'll go ahead and run the program here real quick. 
this. Load tool six. Tool six. All right, is tool six is loaded. Sorry, I'm gonna have you guys dizzy here on this. Well, evidently we've locked it up. Back, yeah, because none, none, oh, there we go. So F6 will. F6 and load it again? Oh, let's try it. That won't let me do nothing on F6. It's still showing that, so F2, wonder if escape. Escape's not escaping out of that. Hey, what the heck? So it finally took off. Okay. If nothing else will watch the video. Okay, maybe I wasn't on F2. I, maybe I hit F3. We'll see. Maybe. All right. <clears throat> All right. So I think we're ready again. Control S. We're going to do Control S, and here we go. So what kind of feed rate did you give this thing? 30 inches a minute. 30 inches a minute on yeah. this. I watched uh, the NYC CNC video where he powder coated that part. He was running at 60 inches a minute, but his logo was a lot bigger. Where this one was so small, I decided, I figured 30 inches a minute would be a good, uh, good feed rate. See, that's what I'm getting. That soft oh. C alarm. Okay, so we, we did get an alarm on the screen. And, uh, hopefully the hind guys will do that, see this. We got a soft Z limit alarm. So we're not sure what's causing that. And all we gotta do is a control S. A control S. And it takes and it right take, back off. Right takes right back off to uh to the project. So we're not sure what's going on with that. I'm gonna send them a G code and just so they can look through it, but I don't think there's anything there. Alright guys, well, Doesn't we got another it. one, um, but there it is, this is uh, the JB3 Moto logo, um, you like to say you've probably seen some of our other bikes and build project videos on my channel there, um, there's a lot still to come from us on the, on the mill and some bikes hopefully, if we ever get the mill running uh, the way we want, we're getting pretty close now. <clears throat> well guys um, it's getting late I'm sure the wife's already mad for being out in the garage um, you guys hopefully you like the video if you want more from this stuff let us know please like and subscribe have a good night